In this tutorial, I'm going to show you eight options infographic slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here in the center, I have added the oval shape along with the icon and then I have added four options to the right and four options to the left. And uh, I can you can see here that uh, I've just put some colorful circles there along with the numbers and some detailed text. You can add it here. So this slide you can use for variety of purposes like mind map or showing different options or showing some comparison left and right side or whatever. And then I have added one more or two more slide with a different background. You can see here I have just used only one color which is light green color and here the same slide with some different color options and with the a background or with the shadow effect in the back side of each options so uh, let's see how to do this in PowerPoint add a new slide right mouse click go to format background and I'm going to select a solid fill and I will give some dark background color or maybe this color let me just close this then go to view enable the guides then go to insert shapes select an oval shape draw the oval shape in the center by holding the shift key so that you get the perfect circle and then go to align center align middle and shape outline you can give a white outline and shape fill you can give for the meantime some light gray color and let me just disable the guides now i'm going to insert four uh, rounded rectangles on the left and the four on the right for that go to insert shapes from the rectangle select the second one which is the rectangles rounded corners and depending on your requirement you create the size maybe this one i'm taking and you can see here the small orange uh, point i'm just dragging this inside it becomes fully curved and shape outline i'm going to make it no outline and shape fill let me just make it white so i'm just putting this side here so that i have to have a space to put the lines connected lines also and then go to insert shapes and select a oval shape small oval by holding the shift key and you can give some different color for the time being then later on we can change it and I'm just going to put it here and make sure that this fits perfectly inside the rounded corner rectangle. So let me just reduce the size by holding the shift key. And I believe this is okay. And the, for this shape outline, make it no outline. Or let me just give some different color. And I'm going to select this particular uh, oval shape again. Press Ctrl D to duplicate it. And I'm making this as white color. And right mouse click, go to Format Shape and go to Effects. And the 3D format, I'm just going to select, which is this one, Soft Rounded. And if you want, you can give some shadow effect also. And just reduce the size a little bit and then put it exactly in between the orange one and make sure that select both and align center align middle so you can see here this particular here i'm just going to write one two three four on this so let me just type a text i will just say zero one and i'm just going to put it here and use some nice font I'm going to use century gothic make it bold and you can use the same color or you can use some black or some one color font also and then here you can add your text you can add the title also if required so i'm not adding the title i'm just adding some text and just put it here so you can see here the particular this particular uh, design is ready so you can uh, do this also or what i can do instead of creating uh, more complicated let me just change this color to 
this one and this one let me just uh, okay this is the text i need to move it and i will change this to white and this i'm just going to delete this and then i'm just going to keep this only here a little bit increase the size a little bit and so this is uh, less effort we need to put it instead of putting two or three different one so you can see here this also looks perfect and then i'm just going to add a shadow effect because shadow effect is very important uh, uh, in the infographics so for that let me just go to insert shapes and select a rectangle and then shape outline make it no outline i'm going to select a gradient fill gradient fill i'm going to select a black color and the other point or the stop i'm going to select the same background color and direction i'm just going to make it uh, this one and this blue color i'm going to make it fully transparent and then i can just reduce the size or if i want i can just go to the soft edges and increase the soft edges also if i want so it becomes something like this just tilt a little bit reduce the size and then just send to back so you can see here there is a a shadow effect there let me just move more this side so you can see here the shadow effects now i'm just going to select all by holding the right mouse click right mouse and hold it and release it so all these objects got selected press ctrl g to duplicate it ctrl d to sorry ctrl g to group it ctrl d to duplicate it so i'm adding for this side and make sure that align left and press ctrl d and bring the other side and i'm just going to rotate it like this can you see flip so i want this and then you can just go and change the color as per your requirement whichever color you want you can just change it see and then change the numbers then after that one i'm just going to connect this and one thing that you can see here this is not center aligned so i have to just select this or i can just say ctrl a select all again hold the shift key remove this selection and then make sure that it is properly center okay and then go to insert shapes and i'm going to select this particular line can you see here connector elbow i'm going to select this one with the last one and you can just increase the size a little bit more Control D, I'm going to select this one with this and just bring on top of the first line. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the right side. Again, Control D, select this and this increase the size a little bit. And then Control D. I'm just going to select this and this and put it here on top of this. And then I'm just going to insert one more line from the center to this. And just say send to back. So you can see here our design is almost ready. I'm just going to add some icon for that insert icon and select any good icon. Just insert this and if you want you can just put some more increase and then if you want you can put some a uh, caption here. So you can see here our design is ready.
that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye